Okay, on this video, I'm going to give you the Ray Kroc secret or the or just a few of the, the things about Ray Kroc that made him unique. There is a great book called Behind the Golden Arches. Now, it's a little old. Well, it's actually quite old. It was written in the 1980s. Uh, but it is an awesome book, Behind the Golden Arches. There's a few chapters in that book that are just so brilliant. So if, you, if you're if you looking for a great success story, a uh, business success story, I can't imagine a better one than uh, Behind the Golden Arches. And in that story, it talks about Ray Kroc and, and what made him truly a great entrepreneur. Uh, he He was a super salesman, first and foremost. But you see, by the time he met the McDonald brothers, uh, uh, he was 52 years old. The, and think about that. You know, that's an age where most people start kind of winding down a little bit. Um, and he wasn't in a good place financially at all. So he saw something that the McDonald brothers really didn't see. And uh, and then, of course, the very first deal that he did with them um it, uh, it it about it, it was not financially viable for him at all. It's just a great story. Now, now look, here it is. If I had to sum up the very best of the best of Ray Kroc, he surrounded himself with the best people possible. And I know that that sounds like common sense, but but Ray was a true leader, surrounding himself with young people who had virtually no restaurant experience. Think about that. They go into the restaurant business, and they the people he surrounded himself with had no restaurant experience. He did that on purpose. He didn't, he, 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 what they were trying to do, and they succeeded actually, was to create something totally innovative, different than anything else. Um, and they were the ones to copy. In fact, in fact, in the late 1960s, after McDonald's had already achieved some real success, um, a reporter asked Ray Kroc, he said, look, what about all this competition? And Ray just simply said, we will innovate faster than they can copy. Think about that. We will innovate faster than they will copy. The, the bravado that came from all of that. Look, it's a well-known fact, and the book Behind the Golden Arches expresses it clearly, that the real secret to McDonald's success is that they're not in the hamburger business at all. I said it, and they're not in the fast food business at all. The real secret of their success is that they're in the real estate business. Now, I haven't done research to follow up on the story to see just how it's evolved, but at one time, and I'm sure it's the same now, McDonald's was the single largest owner of co good commercial real estate that was uh, like the corner, the corner lots and stuff like that, the, the really primo commercial real estate. And how they got into the real estate business was, again, testament to Ray Kroc's leadership ability. He surrounded himself with people that were better and brighter than he was in all the areas that he was weak in. One of those was finance, and his his financial guy came up with this idea. This idea of they would purchase the real estate in you know most cases like a good corner lot, and then the franchise the franchisee would make payments. Um, to to the McDonald's Corporation, they would essentially buy that land for them and make the payments for them. That simple strategy, which, by the way, when Ray first heard about it, he, his, his initial reaction was, I don't want to be in the real estate business. I'm in the fast food business. I'm in the hamburger business. I don't want to be in the real estate business. The only reason he went along with it is because he believed in this man who who initially came up with the whole idea, the guy that was an important part of Ray's team. Ray believed in that man. He believed in the power of uh, letting his people have a lot of leeway. If somebody had a great idea, he was open and receptive to it. Although Ray really didn't believe in the concept that much, let alone believe that this was going to be the single greatest factor that ultimately determined McDonald's success.
is the fact that they own all of the real estate. Ray saw it as a way that he could control his franchisees. Now that's that's as you know that if they if if McDonald if McDonald's owned the real estate underneath all of their locations, then if one of these franchisees wasn't following the system because Ray was a real control freak, that then Ray could get rid of them. You know, but that's about as far as he really saw. He certainly didn't realize that this was going to be the 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 factor that would be more. Uh, influential in their success than anything else. He never saw that, and yet, it, and that's really what it what it was. That that revolutionized everything. It turned their business around. Look, there's so many innovative things about McDonald's. That book is just a must read if you can still find a copy. Behind the Golden Arches, I believe the guy's name is John Love that wrote it. It should have been updated years ago. It's a brilliant book. Um, so many cool things about Ray Kroc and McDonald's. I went to see the original location in Des Plaines. I think that's how to pronounce it. Des Plaines, uh, Illinois. It's a suburb of Chicago. The original location is there. It's a museum. My good friend Ray Priva took me there. Uh, we were at a, a marketing seminar. Ray had a car, and he said, hey, TJ. And he knew I was a big fan of Ray Kroc. He said, he said, the original location is only a couple miles from here. So we jumped in his car. It was closed. And yet I climbed over the fence uh, just so that I could kiss the ground uh, in front of it, you know, because that was hollow, sacred ground to me. And I did. I got down. Uh, Ray took a picture. I lost that picture. I, I, I wish I would have it because I'd frame it now. But I, I got down and I kissed the ground because it was just so I read that book and Ray Kroc was such a great entrepreneur. And um, so, so it's an amazing success story. And uh so look, I'm going to cut this video, but I'll probably do some future videos on Ray Kroc and McDonald's. They're, they are an amazing success story, and I hope you've benefited from something in this video. Uh, if you did, reach out to me at heytj.com. That's H-E-Y-T-J.com. And thank you very much. Bye for now.